What's up my fellow stock music musicians? Today we're going to look at how to use compression in Reason 10. There are a bunch of different compressors that come loaded with Reason, all of which are good for different things. So we're going to dig into when and why you might use these different compressors. Uh, we're going to work with a really simple house song just so we can sort of apply some of these different compressors. We'll talk about what they're good about. We'll just talk about some basic compression techniques. You dig? Cool. Now if you do dig, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and also stay tuned till the end of this video because there I'm going to show you the most powerful compressor in Reason and how to get the best sound out of all of your mixes. You should probably be using this almost all of the time. Okay, let's jump in. So let's take a quick listen to the song. Really simple house thing, just drums, pads. Alright, so let's even just do the compression on the loudest part of the song. That's usually the most helpful because that's where you're having the most dynamic content. So to begin with, let's start with the drums. Here we're just using a good old-fashioned redrum. Now, often if you're dealing with samples, like drum samples, they're actually going to come so frequently. They'll be compressed to begin with. So unless it's sounding terrible, I don't tend to apply a ton of compression. But let's grab Reason's M-Class equal, or sorry, M-Class compressor here. This is a real simple compressor. You've got input. This is basically the gain in and output gain, the output. And the compressor exists between these two lines. So the threshold is how loud of a sound it takes to trigger the compressor, and the softening kind of makes it softer. The, compress the ratio is how much compression actually applies when the threshold is crossed. This meter will show you how much compression is going on. We can ignore sidechain from now, and you've got attack and release. How long does it take for the compressor to kick in, and how long does it take for the compressor to kick off? And then you can also do an adaptive release, which sort of smartly releases it more in time with the music. So because this is a drum track, we're going to want to, well, compression basically takes the loudest parts of the song and makes them quieter so that other parts can come up in the mix and have more fullness. So first of all, be, let's bypass the compression, solo the drums, and let's just make sure there's a good mix between all of the sounds. I feel like the clap could be a little louder. Let's turn the pitch down a little bit. Okay, that's, that's a little better. Um, so now we'll turn the compressor on, and we're going to aim for about 3 dB of gain reduction. So let's listen. We'll set the ratio at 2 to 1. And we'll just use the control, the threshold. That's about right. Now, let's listen. What we're going to want is a slower attack so that the kick and the snare punch through. And probably a faster release so that the drums don't get ducked. So you can hear this really clearly. I think a really good way to learn compression is to turn up the ratio a lot so you can hear the effects of what you're doing and then dial everything back once you get it, got it, get it dialed in. So here you, like that you hear the kick coming through and then it's still being closed. So we want a faster release. So let's do adapt. If we, here you can't even hear the kick. So what we really want is the kick and the snare to punch through and the other stuff to be. Okay, so now let's dial it back. I know what we can do is turn up the gain. 
to make up for what's going on here. So this is reducing it, so we need to make up for that. So we should theoretically have drums that sound as loud as before, but more of what we want is getting through. So. It. You feel that kick just punching through a bit more? Alright, next we've got this pad. I don't think this pad needs compression. It's just doing a very slow whistle. It's pretty much staying in the same dynamic range, so why compress it? Now we're going to go to the bass. So for this, what I want to do is use the um, pulverizer. It's, this is a great bass plugin. Um, they call it demolition, but that's not what we're really doing here. We're going to just do the uh, bass toner. That's a really good place to start. We've got a wet, dry knob. So let's here you've got compression, squash, and release, and here you've got dirt, which is distortion, and some other stuff goes on as well. But, a little filtering. So this is the full what? I want a pretty fast release here. Let's just turn the filter off, guys. For the lead, let's also do a M class compressor. I think there's a couple other compressors in reason, but I don't think they're as useful. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll use the mixer compressor. So if we go to the mixer, there's also a really good compressor here. And I wanted to show this to you. Um, so here we have comp on the Juno lead. Close you out. We'll turn comp on. Threshold. Slow release here. Four to one ratio, that's fine. So that just tightens up a little bit. Not doing a whole lot there, but that gives us just a little more groove to play with. And so now we're going to go to the main tip, how to really get the most bang for your buck with compression and reason. We've already looked at three different compressors, and if you want me to talk about other stuff down the line, please leave a comment below about what you'd like to know about compression. But now here's the big trick. The master compressor. This really will add a lot of extra glue and thump to your track. It's going to make it sound way more alive, way more rhythmic. So we turn it on and hit play. Usually the slowest attack time. Also, here's a, here's a cheat sheet. 90% of, of the time these settings work all of the time. Slowest attack, so most of the important transits go through, and auto release. Two to one ratio, and a threshold set. This is the only thing you really should change each time. Usually so that you're doing about two dB of gain reduction, and then the makeup set to about two, two and a half uh, dB of gain compensation. So.
feel the lift? Let's listen for a lift and the way the music subtly but rhythmically pumps in time. That's glue. There you have it. Those are some really good and easy ways to start using compression and reason. Start dialing in your compressors. There's also a lot of third-party compressors out there that are great. You can do most of what you need to do though pretty easily in reason. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you did be sure to like and subscribe for more great content. Thanks so much.